Boom. Today, we are going to be measuring the piston. Where is it? Piston to bore wall clearance. So basically, the distance from the edge of the piston to the edge of the bore. We need to figure out what that clearance is to make sure that this is the right size for this. Boom, can't wait. All right, first, we only need some couple simple tools. We need a micrometer. I got this off Amazon. Um, Harbor Freight doesn't sell one big enough. My bores are supposed to be 40 over, um, which is 4.4 inches. So I needed a four to five inch micrometer. Uh, you can get an engine bore gauge that's a little more accurate than this, but I don't have that money. So I'm using a telescoping bore gauge, which Harbor Freight sells. You basically stick this in here, take it out, measure it with this, and that gives you an accurate bore width. So let's do it. So I'm going to try to do this with one hand, but try to do this with one hand here. Urgh! I have to loosen this because I already tightened it. So you take your telescoping bore gauge. Sorry, you're looking at really close at the engine because I need to use my other. Oh my God, I'm going to scratch this thing. Okay. Stick it down in there. And I can't do this accurately accurately with one hand, so I'm going to have to do it off camera since I don't have a photographer. But you get it down in the exact middle, and you tighten the top here, and you pull it out. And then you have your bore width. You take that, you put it in here, tighten it down. And that gets your bore width. So on a Ford engine, let me get this right. On this engine, they label the cylinders. The, the engine's going this way. It says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to measure all these, write down all the values, and then measure the pistons. All right, to get the piston, pretty easy. We take our micrometer again. I measured down, I think the piston manufacturers give you how much you're supposed to measure up. I measured the same distance, which is about right in the middle on each side, so I could get a ac more accurate reading. And then you tighten down your micrometer and take right down that value. So you have to do that for every single cylinder. So you got to make sure you're writing down which cylinder is which width because you want to get an exact reading. But all my pistons are labeled like this is number five. You can see the little five right there. So now I know this piston goes with number five cylinder bore so then after you write that down i'm going to go through every single piston measure all those now and then i'll do a little math to figure out the wall clearance if you like this kind of stuff please subscribe all right so i went ahead and measured all the bores the cylinders and then all the pistons I had some mess ups here, but then you just subtract the piston from the bore and then you get a total. That's not your final number. That's just the amount of space between on both sides 
of your piston to these to this. So you're going to need to what I'm trying to say is try to make it less complicated. You need to divide that number by two because there's space on this side and this side equally. So I have to take all these numbers that I wrote down here, divide them by two, and then look at the manufacturer's um, recommended clearance that you want for your piston um, to make sure that they're the proper fit. All right, I did a little more math. It's still kind of messy. It's hard to read, but uh, my clearance right here is 0 0.0029. So my range is 0 0.0026 to 0 0.0034. So that's my range. A trusted engine builder told me that for these pistons, these flat top pistons they're l236640 over told me that they like the manufacturer recommends a tighter tolerance so they recommend 0 0.0020 so my my range is higher than that like one of them i mean that's one and a half bigger than that one and a half times so I'm going to have to, he said that it's okay to have them a little bigger, especially if they're used, they're not brand new. So I'm going to have to uh, ask around and see if this in, is an acceptable range to have because I'm over the recommended range. If not, that's a big problem because we'll have to either get different pistons or we're, we're going to have to get different pistons no matter what. But if that range is unacceptable, We'd have to either bore out them more if we could, maybe to points like 60 over instead of 40 over. And then I'd have to buy all new pistons to go into that that are 60 over. Or get some new pistons that are slightly bigger that would bring that tolerance down. So anyways... Getting a little ahead. That is how you calculate your piston to wall clearance. The amount of room between your piston and this wall. And you got to have a little room or else it, it wouldn't be able to move, but you can't have too much room. So, hope this helps someone out there. Um, on to the next video. I'm going to keep measuring my engine.